Regardless, if it's in a bottle or a can, I'm going to be reviewing a beer today, guys. Oh, BC's Beer Reviews, BC's Beer Reviews, BC's Beer Reviews. Well, it's another episode of BC's Beer Reviews with your boy BC. Well, here we are, Saturday, reviewing another beer, and, ooh, can't wait to try this one. And this one looks like it's going to be pretty good, at least very decent anyway. And this one, this episode today, I've got Founders Centennial IPA. Yep, this is what I'm doing today. Now, these guys are out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Now, Grand Rapids, Michigan is about here in the state, okay? Now, this has a 7.2 APV and a 65 IBU. And this is an American IPA, which is fine. And from what I understand, I guess it's uh, not complex compared to, say, uh, some other IPAs where they use a bunch of different hops to make their IPA. This one's pretty much just, uh, well, there is mainly uh, featuring the Centennial hops in here. Okay, goes beer can. Let's get the pour on here. Dark color, dark color. Off white head, um, kind of a yellowish, like tinge to it to the head. Now I'm getting probably about, yeah, I'd say about three quarters worth of fingers worth of head on here. So it's Definitely cloudy. I don't know. It's dark. I mean, I don't want to say it's a reddish color, but it's definitely like a light, I don't know, kind of like a dark brownish color to it. I'm not seeing no bubbles in here or carbonation. Oh, yeah, the uh, smell on here is pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Definitely getting that centennial hops. It tastes like there's some, it smells like there's some sweetness to it. Yeah. It's nice floral aroma. I'm enjoying that one. Nice, I'm enjoying the look of it. It's like a brownish, cloudy brew. Yeah, they hit the alcohol on here pretty well on this one. Seeing how their primary uh, mash bill is Centennial hops, or at least the primary one. Well, enough of the jibba jibba. Let's see how this bad boy tastes. It's nice. It's nice. It's, it's not overly bitter, but it's definitely dry. You're getting that dryness on the back end for sure. Now, when you're getting the drinking off of it, you're getting the centennial hops straight away. Goes down, and then you get the 
hit of the dryness of this IPA. Now, this is, if I haven't mentioned this, this is an American IPA. So, the only thing on here is nice, as you can tell. So, I'm happy with that. It's nice. And, I've got no complaints about it. So, if I have to give this one a grade, I would have to give this one a... Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Yep. Or nine point one. Well, this one's pretty good. I mean, some would say maybe this is probably their simplest version of a IPA. Okay, fine. This, I'm not going to dispute it. You know me, I've always liked the simpler things. The simpler the better. You know, when it comes to beers, okay. But then again, I do like some complexities in my beers too as well. But when it comes to simplicity, I definitely like it in my recipes when I'm cooking. So, it's no big thing. I mean, you could definitely have a simple homemade meal and a complicated beer to go with it. Or, you could have the combination of the two, simple with simple. And, either way, can you really go wrong? That's the real question. So, now, like I've always said, hey, drink responsibly. Don't do nothing stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. And I'll see you next time. Here, on the next BC's Beer Reviews. BC's going to drink some beers. So take a seat, baby, have no fear. He will certainly bring the cheer. So sit down and don't move. We're BC.